All right, thank you, Tony. We are working, developing news tonight on a deadly stabbing investigation. The man accused of killing the mother of his two children in Woonsocket Tuesday night is now behind bars here in Rhode Island. 31-year-old Alvin Huggins was arraigned this afternoon on a domestic murder charge less than 24 hours after he was captured in Boston. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is live outside District Court with the Providence Mobile Newsroom. Mike Shannon, good evening. Prosecutors say Alvin Huggins is a parole violator on four different offenses. He is, of course, now held without bail. This most serious case now headed to Superior Court. 31-year-old Alvin Huggins arraigned at Providence District Court Thursday afternoon, captured Wednesday night, and accused of murdering 27-year-old girlfriend Yanira Flores in Woonsocket the night before that. Information was discovered that Mr. Huggins had family ties in Boston, Mass., Working with the Boston Police Department and the Fugitive Task Force, Mr. Huggins was taken into custody in Dorchester, Mass. yesterday. Chief Carey says the couple's children, a boy six and a girl four, were inside this Willow Street duplex when their mother was stabbed in the chest, though not present when police arrived. Instead, at a nearby relative's, police are not saying who called to report an unresponsive Flores, nor are they talking about means. We're still working on the uh, on the murder weapon too, and again, you know, you want to make sure whatever you find that it's the right one. So we still got some work to do on that. So I don't want to say yes, we have it, but again, that's just one aspect of the investigation we're still working on. One of Flores's brothers tells Eyewitness News he reached Alvin Huggins by phone after his sister's death, and that's when Huggins told him he was headed to Connecticut, and it was all an accident. Police would not confirm that Thursday. Now, we have previously reported on Alvin Huggins' criminal past. Coming up new at 6 on Eyewitness News at 6, we learn more about Huggins' time behind bars. That's ahead. Live in Providence at this hour with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Planter, Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tony. Now at 6, the suspect in a deadly stabbing is back in Rhode Island to face a domestic murder charge. Alvin Huggins is accused of killing his children's mother in Woonsocket on Tuesday night. We broke the news that he was arrested by Boston police yesterday on Eyewitness News at 6.30 over on Fox Providence. Huggins was brought back to be arraigned in Providence today. And new at 6 tonight, we've uncovered new details about his previous time behind bars. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is live outside Providence District Court. Mike Shannon, good evening. The question, what brought us to the case at present? We wanted a window into the past. Alvin Huggins, 31, arraigned in Providence Thursday for the Tuesday Woonsocket murder of 27-year-old girlfriend Yanira Flores, the mother of his two children. Eyewitness News has reported on Huggins' lengthy criminal history. Tonight, we have new details about some of his time in the ACI. We've confirmed with the Department of Corrections, Huggins was sentenced to six months for a felony assault in 2004, with two and a half years suspended. He was there one month because of time served and received four days of good time. Just two months after Huggins got out, he committed another felony assault. For that one, Huggins received three years with 12 suspended. He served just over a year and received 84 days of good time, plus 20 days of work time. In 2012, Alvin Huggins pleaded no contest to slashing a man in the throat, narrowly missing his carotid artery. For that crime, he was sentenced to 18 months, eight and a half years suspended. Huggins served just over one and earned even more good time. From 2003 to 2012, the DOC tells us Huggins had 20 disciplinary infractions while locked up, which can run the spectrum. The agency doesn't report on specifics. And that spectrum can run from anywhere from failure to stand to be counted onward. Of course, now the most serious charge against Alvin Huggins, domestic murder. Live outside Providence District Court tonight with the Providence Mobile Newsroom, I'm Jared Planter, Eyewitness News.